Today I'm going to show you about the Color Factory and if you guys know me, you know that I love color. I'm Jenny from Jenny's Can Collection. I help you guys find the coolest art supplies for whatever project you're doing. And the Color Factory is super fun. There's one in Houston, there's one in Texas, and I'm in New York City today. So come check it out with me and see all the cool stuff inside. The Color Factory is located in the trendy neighborhood of Soho in New York City. This is what it looks like when you go inside. Can you see all the employees are wearing these jumpers? Here's a really cute wall that you can take pictures in front of. They even have toilets that are fun. This is one of the first stops. You get a macaroon and you get to choose the color, any flavor. And then you head over to the button factory. And this was the wall by the button factory. And you get to choose whatever color that you want to choose. I chose purple because my girls love purple. And then from there we go to Sing Me Low High. And I did not get the sounds of these, but they are really cool. And then you go to the confetti room and you can just throw confetti. You can lay on the floor. You can do whatever you want in this room. It is so much fun. I loved being here. It was like... I could have probably spent hours and they changed the confetti colors for all this season. So this was for the summer season, which was fun. And then this is the choice room. You get to make lots of different choices. So here are some of the choices that I made. If I was in a rainforest, where would I be? If you were a movie, what genre would you be? What would you be? What would you define? Oh, I can't really see that one anymore, but <laughs> I'm waiting to go on. And then it says some are rational or irrational. And then you get to reveal your secret color. And you can tell that my video camera was not the real color. You'll see in a second what the actual color is that I was. Uh, alternative prom. This is not the color. It looks blue here, but look in this picture. All of a sudden it's purple. <laughs> So there you go. This was another one of my favorite rooms. Silence is Golden. I won't put the music on just because it might be copyrighted, but you gotta just jam out and then it took your picture for you and you see all the other people jamming out. And here it is taking my picture. It was so much fun. Next room is RCBNYC and it just changes different colors and you see different patterns on the wall depending on the color. So you see different neighborhoods of New York City. I thought this was a really cool room to see all the different patterns that they had. And when all the lights came on, you saw kind of everything at the same time. This was another bathroom. I was kind of obsessed with the bathrooms. So remember all those buttons? These are all the colors from the different buttons and these are all the names of the different colors. So Coke, some of these I can't even say, but how cool would it be if we had some crayons about where these colors or some absinthe? Oh, I don't know how to say that. Absinthe. How would you say it? Jet. That one's really easy to say. Uh, and then here I do jet again because I guess it wasn't very easy to see right there. Racing green. That looks really pretty. And then next, I think Orkill, that's the button that I chose. I thought that one was super pretty. My girls love purple, so that's why I chose that. And then the next one, Heliotrope. And then we have the meaning of it on the back. I could have just spent hours in this room. I spent a long time. <laughs> Indian yellow. I think there have been some colors that were called Indian. And then Quaker is another color, which is gray. And then we have Oh gosh, Zephyr, I don't know, Yemen Blue, is that from an area? And then Pink, just regular pink right there. And then we have Egyptian Blue, I think that's the name of a color, but I'm not sure. And then the next room, you gotta sit on these spinning things, so you were able to take your picture with that. And you got to sit on these spinning things and it took your picture and here are my pictures right here do you guys like them it was so much fun the next room was the bubble room and i unfortunately i did not want to get in the bubbles because of covid and all that stuff so i just kind of stood out there i put my hand in it a little bit but it was so much fun it looked like the people were having so much fun there was a little slide if i was the only one in the room i might stay in there but not because 
and then now we had some gelato it was super pretty um, super <laughs> delicious then they have a map to explore the city which was really fun and you could go different places I didn't because I didn't have time and here's the exit look at how cute this wall is I loved it it's so pretty and then this is the gift shop which I thought was a lot of fun they had a lot of cool color things I picked up some colored pencils I'll have to review and see if they're any good here we have a color emotional barometer that I think would be so fun to do uh, to see what color I want to get more into that kind of stuff and we have two, some toothbrushes the colored pencils that I picked up that I'll review some chopsticks that are different colors napkins a little book this a color cube some more pins everything looks so cute in here it was really hard not to buy the whole store we have some hats we have some shirts uh, a scarf they had some masks that shirt I should have picked up some sunglass inserts color factory pins we had so much cute stuff look at that book and they had all these cute little cars that were um, color coordinated and what is this one right here I can't even exactly tell there was a puzzle up there um, some more puzzles that would be a really hard puzzle I think I don't know if I could do it I should have bought one and tried to put it together as a video and seen how long it took. There was some mask and this is that little person that we saw earlier with the colored cubes. They had some socks and that and that's a scarf. And these were like different places in New York City. So it would say you are here and you try to guess where it was and I'm just going through all these really fast but it was really cool like how they incorporated the colors of New York City. And every location is different that you go to of the color factory so you'll see like different exhibits and they're put together by the local artists I hope you guys like this video 